Hello, 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 it's Attorney Mike Garvin coming to you from Chicago. As usual, and I just have a quick one. We've got a quickie sent to me by Kristen, my Traverse City connection. Oh, good Lord. Something's going on here. I need to fix my screen. There we go. Uh, we've got a sovereign citizen in Leelanau County of all places. I've lived in Leelanau County. It's absolutely gorgeous. You're not going to see it. You're going to see a dim courtroom. <laughs> But it is absolutely a beautiful place. <sighs> but but it, it still got invaded by sovereign citizens, apparently. Let's uh, let's go there and check it out. I don't know. I claim this is the most obnoxious sovereign citizen I've ever seen. They're all obnoxious. But I, I think a good, a good case could be made for this guy. Let's check it out. I'd have to feel like I should be elected emperor of the world. <laughs> before I could be that arrogant, not show up for a sentence. Like really, like top two, top two. Only me and one other person get to run for emperor of the world. Uh, what advice are giving you opportunities to to uh, listen and follow directions, but you just don't want to do it. So I'm going to remand you to, to the jail until next Friday. You'll have a probable cause and put it on your exam. There we go. We start with a bang. Judge just announced that I'm going to remand you till next Friday. <laughs> the audio isn't the greatest, so I, so I thought I'd uh, make sure you caught that part. In the interim. If you touch me, I'm going to follow our assault charges on you because this, I'm challenging jurisdiction to this court. You're not even listening to me. This is going to go before the Supreme Court. I'm asking for you to please listen to me, and you're not even listening or wanting to hear me. I'm here. I brought my son over here so you can see. I'm not being. I've, I've heard enough. I've the heard enough. See, if you walk out and you're infringing this, and you're violating my rights, this is not fair. You're supposed to be able to hear me. I didn't want him over here. I'm not crossing the bar, and you're infringing on me. This is this is totally unlawful. And you can't do this. You gotta explain jurisdiction over me. I'm challenging it right now. You have to answer me. It's the Maritime at the Title 40 of the United States Code of Order. This is Section 1, Interference Zone and Decision Board. It says changes of the present action as Commander in Chief of the Mar Army and Navy and the Maritime Law Acts, all times and commercial boats since 18 and 1930. All right, we've challenged jurisdiction and, we, and we've invoked maritime law. Or mayor team, as he likes to call it. The article, sir, since all this use of 192, and you're wanting to reprimand me, that's unlawful. That is going against all my rights, as through the Constitution and through the Bill of Rights. You're doing it. You're infringing on my on my sovereignty. You're taking it away. You're you're, you're taking my Fourth Amendment, my Fifth, my Second Amendment. It is not fair. If you want to do this to me, I'm a, I'm a claimant. There. You're right, elected it to a common law, and I'm told only through common law, sir. And you can't go against this. This is your oath under the. Oh, good Lord. To give this perspective, I, I told you already, it's a beautiful place. It's a low population that's There might be 20,000 people in the county. It's absolutely beautiful. You got little towns like Leland and Sutton's Bay, which is where I, where I was. Uh, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. It's very mellow, very low crime. My my uncle, my uncle Ol. Shout out to my uncle Ol. Used to be a sheriff in Leelanau County. I mean, they had stuff to deal with, but it, this is not a high crime, nasty place. This is God's country. Constitution, right? You're supposed to serve. You're not supposed to infringe on us. You're not supposed to. You're imprisoning me. You're sending me to a Nazi camp because I'm wanting to speak my own mind. Because we have freedom of speech, and this is what you want to send me to jail for. That is a prison camp. This is tyranny. Good, Joe. You're sitting on here before this golden French flag and you're wanting to do this unlawful stuff to me. So, you have to, I'm challenging your jurisdiction. I didn't commit no tortious acts. I didn't commit anything wrong or unlawful. I didn't commit no tortious acts. Well, you're in a criminal court. You're, you're charged with a crime, not a tortious act. <laughs> but... I, and I doubt the statement, but th but that's beside the point. You're trying to find me in contempt because I'm trying to speak my mind. That is unlawful right there in its own. So I'm letting you, you speak your mind. UCC I have.
haven't found you in contempt. I'm not finding you in contempt. For what? Because you're disrupting the court. You're not listening to the court. We're not even able to conduct the probable cause conference because you won't be quiet. So I'm trying to speak and I'm trying, just like I did for you to listen, you're interrupting me and I'm trying to tell you, but you won't listen to me. Because you think you have authority over the Justice Heavy No Nazi prison? I think, okay. I think this is a Nazi. This is what he's trying to say. You yeah, created you problem, you have, not me. I object to this whole hearing. Let's go. I'm done. But Mr. Walker, please prepare another. Constitution citizen, you won't even listen. So I'm, I'm familiar with these arguments that you're right. making. I've heard them before. So then, you know, you and I'm trying to jurisdiction, right? Are you, an you, you, judge, you can challenge jurisdiction as much as you want. Judge, I think you need a lawyer. But for today, I don't need a lawyer for that. But for today, no. we're done. This is unlawful. We're done. This is unlawful. So if you put your hands on me, I'm going to file a lien against you guys because this is unlawful. This is unconstitutional. You can do what you feel you need um, to do. Not, don't worry. This gets worse. It, it really does. It's going to happen because you got no rights. Wait till the defense attorney tries to help him. So I, I am going to release Mr. Travis from representing. You can. He's got no right. I never asked him to. I never contacted him. I'm sorry. I never spoke to him. See, I can't even hear Mr. Travis because well, you're talking so loud. So if I be quiet, so you let him talk, you're going to let me go home with my son? No, I've made my decision. Really? That you, as a judge, you or a referee, you can change your decision, can't you? I've done nothing unlawful here. So nothing. We're done for today. Sir, I've you done can nothing redo unlawful. this what next Friday. You know it's being with your preliminary examination. Just being shut. Yeah, I just. There's so they can't hear the file too. And I'm just so asking so the representative. He can't ask my behalf. That right there. You'll be removed from misdemeanor file too. That is breaking the law, right there. He can't. He's not representing me. Mr. Ruiz. Judge, not no you have to listen to me. I'm challenging your jurisdiction. That is all. I'll, I'll explain this a little bit because it confused me at first. He does not hold him in contempt. He explicitly says, I'm not holding you in contempt. But his fir the first thing out, out of the shoot was, you're being remanded. We're trying this again next week. The he's certainly qualified for contempt. However, the judge, it's a, it's a total waste of time at that point. He's already made the decision. Uh, we're remanding you back into custody, and we'll try this all again next week. So tacking a con contempt on top doesn't doesn't change much. But but now the judge has walked out, and this guy keeps going. It's unlawful. That will go before Supreme Court. It's not right. <laughs> it's not right. No, you touch me. You're I'm putting assault charges on you guys. Go right ahead. You guys have to stop. No, we do not. He didn't even listen to me. He didn't even listen to me. That's not even right. I'm challenging you. You're disrupting this court. I'm not disrupting you. And he's giving you. Look, I, I'm not going disrupting to jail. you. That's not true. Yes. That's, that's not. That's, your hands that's behind your back. You, to do is you. you see this, Vincent? Put your you hands this? behind your back. Mr. Ruiz. I want you to get a little mic. Let's not escalate this. You're escalating. I'm not escalating. No, sir. I'm not you with respect. He's supposed to. No, you're not. He was yes. supposed to be listening to me. You know, if you put your hands on me, I'm calling the assault on you. There's my name. And there's him as a witness. Yes. You're a so called prosecutor. Yes. You won't even listen. And you know about this. You practice the bar and you know that's unlawful. You know how food. this works. I challenge you. No, I don't know how this yes, works. You've been, been, a you've been in prison. You've been a tyrant? What does that I have do. to do with anything else? I paid Turn for around, my your hands behind your back. I paid for sure. whatever they did. This is unlawful. You're doing no, it. Is not. This is not. Yes, it is unlawful. No. Assume the position, dummy. He's got to challenge this. I'm challenging you to your decision. He's got to. We're not he done. He can't move forward before. He just walked out. And that's unconstitutional. He can't walk away from this. Once the, the Supreme Court sees this, all you guys are going to be in trouble. That's it's not I'm, right. That's, I'm and now he's that. holding me till next Friday. Are you kidding me? Really I got stuff I got to do. I got dogs. I got family. I got kids support. I got jobs. And you guys are doing this unlawful. This isn't right. And you know it. So you, you know what? You practiced the bar. You went to lie to me. You did this. Put your hands you behind you. You touched me. I'm telling you. I've already touched you. I've already touched you. Then arrested for doing this. Okay. Then arrested for being we're doing the side charge. No, we're you got to stop, stop, man. Judge order. No, that's what he, what is supposed to happen. I'm challenging you jurisdiction. Just, I'm challenging you. One second. Give me one second. I'm challenging you jurisdiction on this. Listen to the man, please. I'm trying to help you. Let's try to help you. You're not trying to help me. Shut the fuck hey, up. You, you can't do that. You see? 
See, you, um, you're a servant, but you're a servant. You work for the people, man. You know that, right? Don't want you I didn't swear. I didn't swear to you. If I didn't you, treat if you if wrong. If you stop, if you resist them, you get another felony. For what? It's called resisting. But I did not resist you. I'm trying to, trying to present to court something that it's is legitimate. Crap. No, it isn't. That's why this is here. I got right. legislation right here. Take them. Look, Take look, gentlemen. No, before you go, look. This is Michigan legislation right here. I know the law. It's Michigan legislation. I got it on paper for you. This is take my phone and my books. You can come get them. This right here is is charity. Okay. This is what you're doing. This is yes, sir. You know what, Mike? Come on and get to get all the Williams and Hauser. Right through there, sir. I need to have my son go to the street. He will come and get it when we're we'll allowed to get him and get it. Right now, go here. through there. It's I'll guarantee he gets it. And I will make sure he gets it also. This is this is just OBS. And then for your prosecutor to fucking swear at me, he's a public servant. You, well. you can file whatever charges you want. There you go. For what happened? It's not right. That, that, is that, that, is that, is that, that judge right there? He's not he's supposed to fight him. He's supposed to fit a challenge. He just Drop off the claimed out a lot of restrictions. Out. Nobody. <laughs> Vincent, let's get to my son. Yep. Jack it to your son. He's Vincent. Good. Hey, listen. My, no, I'm trying to tell him. I know. Let, let's do this. You got his keys? No, the keys are in the truck in the side pocket for the house. I have to say that I can get help you get to take the truck home. And I need you guys to stay at the house with my dogs. Got it. He's in the truck. Stay at home with the dogs. Driver's side. Uh, Driver's side. Driver's side door. Driver's side door. Yeah. This is totally illegal. This is illegal. I'm going to ask for a boy to get in this. I'm not, 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 i am not i am your son wants the phone password. He's right here. Um, I, I cut out the, the phone password because I didn't want to dox him, but it, it's incredibly stupid. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So I'm going to get a hold of him now. Call charge. I'm going to get a hold of him now. <laughs> there, there sure are. Ah, well, there you have it. In beautiful bucolic Leelanau County. I can't believe it. It brings back memories. Oh, I mentioned my uncle Lowell. He, you guys would like him. He used to have, I mean, he had several, but uh, the one I knew, he had a canine. It was a German Shepherd named Nitro, and damn, did he love that dog, and so did we. Cute, cute little thing, but that's that, that's nice area up there. But but the subsets they, they invade and destroy everything. <laughs> There's no stopping them. I mean, that's literally the million, middle of nowhere. It's it's a peninsula stuck out in the middle of Lake Michigan, not close to anything. <laughs> and there they are, there they are, disputing jurisdiction. <laughs> Thank you very much, Matt. <laughs> yeah, well, he's traveling to jail. I got confused by this clip. It's a short one, but but because because in the middle, the judge says, I'm not holding you in contempt. When I saw the beginning, I, again, I realized it, it, the first thing out of the shoot, the judge was super calm. He's just like, I, I'm remanding you right now. Let's <laughs> let's start there. That's our baseline. OK, uh, if the guy could have shut his hole and let and let the attorney talk for 10 seconds, they would have had the hearing. He would have been he would have gotten a bond. Probably. I don't know what the charge is. We can't discuss the charge. I don't know what the guy's arrested for. <laughs> I still don't <sighs> because they can't have the hearing. Because he can't shut up. If he would have shut up for literally 30 seconds and let his attorney speak for him, he'd be a free man right now. But no. 
is my overwhelming guess, unless he's charged with, uh, you know, a felony or something. But I highly doubt that. I I highly doubt that. It's probably a possession or something. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm guessing. I, I really don't. I really don't know. And, and then he it looked like he was <laughs> like he was dressed up and like uh, like he was waiting tables or something. It's weird. The whole thing is weird. Ah, oh, well. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. That's, that's all I had. I thought it was too good to pass up, so I did it real quick here. Yeah. Yeah. Although oh, those dogs are tough. <laughs> those, those dogs aren't playing. But they're, they're sweet, I'm sure. All right. Thank you all for coming out. I appreciate it. And I will see you soon.